Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guides here on Borderlands Universe. So this is the series where I go through each of the three Borderlands games, Borderlands 1, 2 and the pre-sequel and pick out a certain Easter Egg reference or a secret in the game and then bring it to you guys for closer analysis and just to let you uh, all know what it's all about, what it's referencing and uh, things like that. So yeah, pretty good. We are on episode 30 today. Got three great more Easter eggs for you guys. Hopefully you won't know about some of them. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the guide. Starting off in Borderlands 1 then, and um, we are in the uh, zombie island of Dr. Ned DLC, and uh, there's certain uh, suicide zombies in this um, game um, that throw barrels, they always carry barrels on the back, um, and uh, yeah, chase you around. But uh, if you are quite high level, uh, mainly in playthrough 2, and uh, quite a rare chance of it though, um, you will find one of these guys right here, which is a badass Tankenstein. Now, obviously, a lot of people know what this is about. This is obviously a reference um, to Frankenstein's monster, um, who is the actual creation of uh, Mary Shelley. Uh, books, films, the lot. Obviously, everyone knows about Frankenstein. Um, but yeah, this is just um, referencing the uh, the monster that was created by Dr. Frankenstein. Um, so yeah, that is Borderlands 1's Easter Egg today. Watch out if you do find this guy. He's very tough and all the zombies that are around you will slow you down. So he will be able to uh, take you down pretty quickly. Anyway, that's Borderlands 1 Easter Egg for today. On to Borderlands 2 then, and I'm um, actually currently in uh, the hole where Sanctuary once was, um, aptly titled Sanctuary Hole, and uh, we're going to be looking at the uh, the mission um, that you get to uh, to return to Sanctuary Hole, uh, sorry, to Sanctuary after it uh, takes off. It's called Bright Lights Flying City. Now, this is um, a reference to a book, a novel, written by Jay McKinney, um and uh, it was published on the uh, 12th of August 1984. It's written about a character's time spent caught up in and notably escaping from the mid-1980s New York um, City fast lane. Um, the novel got its title from the Jimmy Reed song um, of the same name as well. So uh, yeah, this um, Bright Lights Big City is a novel, it's also a film. Uh, and it's a Jimmy Reed song, so all of these reference uh, the same thing, the actual story um, of this guy that gets um, caught up. Um, it read the plot, not my kind of thing really, but uh, hopefully some of you guys might have seen it. It um, just doesn't sound like uh, something I'd want to watch, but uh, it's quite an interesting story nonetheless. So uh, yeah, if you think you uh, like the sound like, go check that out. But uh, that is Borderlands 2's Easter Egg of today. And finally, we are in Borderlands the pre-sequel, and we're going to be taking a look at the red flavour text on the uh, Absolute Zero um, weapon. And as you can see, it says, in the universe, there is only one Absolute. Um, now, this is a, a reference to a DC supervillain who uh, appears primarily in Batman comic books. Um, it's obviously... Um, as, well, Batman's a nemesis, although I don't think Batman's classed as a superhero, is he? He's like a, uh, an Avenger of the Night kind of thing. But anyway, um, the supervillain is called Mr. Freeze. Um, and the full quote of the phrase that Mr. Freeze says is, In this universe, there is only one absolute. Everything freezes. Pretty cool looking guy, actually, um, from what I've been researching. I'll be honest, I've, uh, I do watch superhero films, all the Marvel films, DC films, stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not a big comic book reader, so uh, I don't think I've ever heard of Mr. Freeze. He might have appeared in uh, some other films that I might not have seen, actually. But this guy looks pretty damn cool. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that is uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequels, Easter Egg for today. So, there you go, guys. Three more great Easter eggs for you right there. We uh, had the Frankenstein Easter Egg in Borderlands 1 with the badass Tankenstein. We had the uh, the mission in the main story mission in Borderlands 2, Bright Lights Flying City, which was a reference to the the film song and book Bright Lights um, Big City, and then finally Borderlands the free sequel with a super villain uh, DC super villain called Mr Freeze. So uh, hopefully you didn't know about uh, a few of them. Maybe one or two in there might have uh, surprised you. If you knew all three of them, then well done to you. Hopefully you can check out the uh, previous 29 episodes. Uh, links should be in the description below for them if you want to watch a few more. 
Uh, but yeah, any more suggestions of any uh, Easter eggs you think I might not know about, be sure to drop them down in the comments below as well. I'll read through them. I read every comment uh, section in every video, so be sure to drop them down there. But for now, that's Ultimate Easter Egg and Secret Scribe, episode 13. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.